Today on Podcast 17, we're going to take a look at Containment, the zombie puzzler. As this is an indie title, it didn't actually contain a teaser trailer, so we're going to forego that this time around and concentrate solely on in-game footage. Now, if you're like me and found yourself playing Bejeweled and thought to yourself, hey, this game would be a lot better with loads of gratuitous violence and zombies, well, have we found the perfect game for you. The game is set up, much like the title would suggest, like a puzzler. You are given a set stage and you have to move these characters around in a way that completely surround the zombies and when you do so, the characters destroy them. Depending on the characters you used, you will unlock weapons. These weapons can be used to cause greater damage to the zombies. It's a pretty simple mechanic and it doesn't take much getting used to, so that is a good point of the game. There is a very low learning curve on it and if you're looking for something to just kind of play and not really have to think about, this would be the perfect game for that. Now this game seems to have a bit of an identity problem. It doesn't seem to be able to figure out if it wants to be a casual game or a shooter. And I say that because the game labels itself as a casual game, but yet at the same time, the chapters are extremely long, it's hard to get in and out of in a quick pace. And that's really the core mechanic to casual games. It's something you can pick up and go, and then drop off whenever you want. But in this game, if you don't finish an act, then that's it. You have to start it over. So, I'm not quite sure what this game wants to be. I mean... It's not bad, and it's kind of an interesting take on puzzlers, but at the same time, it's not quite as good as I was hoping when I first saw it. And I say that mainly because it is repetitive. I mean, it has a storyline to it of sorts, and it's essentially the same carbon copy storyline of any other zombie game you have ever played. As it goes on, you don't really feel that any real progress is being done. It's just kind of you stuck in a city trying to escape, and it has some wacky, bizarre story elements to it that add a little bit of fun to the game, but at the same time, I just wish there was more content. It builds itself as a casual game, yet tries to go along with a story and and for most of the game you're just kind of thinking why even bother it's not a story based game it's not a casual puzzle game what is it so to pretty much sum up my review of the game i would say that i honestly can't recommend it there are far better games out on the market that do casual better and do zombies better for an example adam zombie slasher is a much better game than this if i were to recommend a casual based zombie game to somebody it would most likely be that. But for five dollars, it's not bad. I enjoyed it for the few hours that it lasted, and I can't say I would honestly pick it up again, but if somebody was over and wanted to kill a little bit of time, I might recommend it to them. So that is it for my review of Containment the Zombie Puzzler. If you enjoyed this review, check out more just like it on our YouTube page, click subscribe while you're there, or go to podcast17.com.